Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we've actually got a pretty cool idea which is subscriber commented he's actually in my Clash of Clans clan so yeah you know who you are many thanks but today we're going to be swapping the sun with planet 9 so yeah planet is all the who is so we're going to swap sun and planet 9 then we're going to select all objects and then do auto orbit I believe is um what they are so or asked so that's going to be um pretty cool so first of all guys just many many thanks um for yesterday's video so everyone was saying like welcome back some really positive comments just many many thanks for that and damn our subscribers we're so close to 900 yeah just many thanks for having me subscribe as well but anyways let's get into this so also guys a little quick target let's try and get 900 before um let's see if we can try and get it before the 9th of august because that'd be pretty awesome because this channel is almost one year old now that is insane and um, that means I've got a special video coming out on the 1st of August, um, which is going to be like my one year special. So, yeah, if you um, want to know what it's about, check out the very first video ever upload. Then you may have a clue to, um, yeah, may have a clue to what it could be and all that good stuff. Anyways, let's get into this. So, we want to go to the sun here. And also, actually, I also found um, a commenter also said there was a simulation from something called Game of Thrones. Now, I've heard of it before. I've never watched it. I don't really know what it's about. And there's a planet called Westo or Rest. Uh, I saved it here, Westeros, so let's just put it in here quick, and basically it's an Earth, but it's from an older version of the game, so as you can see it's got all clouds around it, so do you want me to guys make a video on this, explain like what this is and why it's like that, because if we look at it, it's um, hydrogen, water, silica, and iron, they're all the same, but it's not a gas giant, this normal setup would make it a gas giant, it has all these weird clouds, yeah, so do you guys want me to make like a special video on like what this object is and how, like, where it came from pretty much. I think I have an idea where it's from or how they added it into the game, but yeah, it'd be quite hard to explain. So yeah, tell me if you guys want a video on that. But anyways, in, let's get into this video. So, I'm gonna get our planet nine. So let's um, start off here. So we're gonna put it right inside the sun, pretty much exactly in the center of the solar system here. So pretty much about, actually we need to put it in orbit mode. So, where about so we at? Where's the center here? Okay, oh wow, that's really close. Okay, that's pretty much about the closest I can get, I think, somewhere around here. There we go, about... There we are. Wait, I put the wrong one, dang it. Okay, Planet 9 needs to go there. Whoops, so there's he, so... Alright, there we are, that, that should work. So, now we delete the sun. So, Planet 9 is pretty much in the exact middle here, which is what we want. So, let's quickly delete this thing. So, there we go, there's our Planet 9. So, now what we want to do is, we want to go all the way out to the original Planet 9, all the way out here. And we're going to place the sun in the middle of this. So, this is going to... This is definitely cause some trouble, but yeah, let's just put the sun right in the center there. There we go, that's pretty much it. And delete that. So now we literally, yeah, that's on zero velocity. So now what we want to do is we want to select the whole solar system here. And then we want it to auto orbit. So now they're all going to start orbiting the new sun here. So let's slow down time. And we're going to see what havoc happens because we could have some collisions. Some objects could get completely thrown out the system. Other one, or maybe it may just orbit the sun from a very far distance. But this could be interesting. So let, now let's hit play and let the mayhem begin. So, oh, that's looking pretty crazy, actually. Look at that. Look at those weird orbits. I did press auto orbit on every object, so this is what it's giving us. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So look at all this. So there's our good old Mercury there, and the new texture looking pretty cool. Very, very dark here, as you can see. There is some light here, or is that just because of the atmosphere? Wait, if we remove it. No, it has got daylight, I believe. Okay, interesting. Okay, how about where's um, Planet 9? Does this get sunlight? Surely it doesn't. There's no way. Oh, it does. No way. That is... I was not expecting this to get sunlight, but as you can see right there, it's not completely dark. So, there is sunlight here. So, hmm, interesting stuff. So, now let's hit play. Let's um, go on orbit mode so we can just see everything. So, Earth and Venus are now in a binary orbit. Mercury is orbiting Planet 9. Planet 9 is orbiting Jupiter. But Mars orbiting Jupiter. Okay, this is going to get way out of hand. If we say all this, so let's actually speed this up. Okay, so yeah, it's quite hard to simulate all this at once, but as you can see, we can't really do it much faster because the computer won't allow me. So yeah, that's like so we can slowly see what's happening here. So the solar system is pretty much going to break apart from what it used to be, and they're all going to slowly part. Yeah, you can see the orbits all going wobbly here. We've got Charlie Link. Whoa, what the heck has happened to that? Well, it's getting thrown away pretty quickly, actually. That's interesting. That orbit is getting stretched a lot. Okay, Planet 9, how are you doing? Where's Mercury gone? Wow, look at all this. This is pretty crazy stuff. So we've got Mercury here. So, there we go. Alright. So, this is, this is pretty crazy, actually. I've never actually tried this, either. So, speed this up. Wow. 
Also, guys, I may, I'm thinking maybe for, like, um, cause I know a lot of people were saying, oh, well, when I was talking about the live stream yesterday, um, or I was talking about the 900 sub special and the 800 subscriber special, I think, I think if we if we haven't got to 800 by the 1st of August, then I'll release the special video I'm planning. That will be the 800 special, and then we'll just wait to 900. But if we get to 900 before the 1st of August, which I don't know if we will or not, then I'll have to make a set or I'll have to make the special video for 900 subscribers but right now I'm planning to make the special video for the 800 special and then do a live stream for 900 and then and then a thousand which I'm really hoping we can get before September I think I may do some sort of Q&A or something for that I know that'd be pretty interesting just so you guys can like I don't know, know me more ask questions like why did I start Universal Sandbox why did I start YouTube all that stuff and yeah, it should be pretty interesting probably won't be the longest of videos maybe I could do it live I don't know but anyways yeah so tell me guys what you think about all that so let's um, speed this up a bit more okay so now we can see some objects like so we've got most of the dwarf planets out here so we've got these ones Sedna, Iris here, Ixion, Varda this one here uh, Haumea there where's Pluto at actually Okay, so we've got all those dwarf planets who are so far away from the gas giants that they haven't been affected, so they're just orbiting the sun. We've also got Charlinko here, which is now the new Sedna, as you can see, that orbit is massive. So now if we go into here, oh, what's this over here? So we've got Vesta, which has been completely thrown out for some reason. Oh, okay, there's Pluto there. Okay, so, okay, looking good. We've got Planet 9, okay, getting closer to the sun. When they get closer to the sun, yeah, stuff is definitely going to go down, so... Okay, so this one's about to fly by the sun, so let's slow the time down a bit, hit play. Okay, it's a little bit more. We're going to see this object either get completely thrown out of the system or just completely... Well, it's, all, it's definitely going to change. We're going to get a very close by, um, a very close um, go by the sun. So now it's got so much of a gravitational assistance or pull there. Was it gravitational... Um, I forgot what it's called actually, damn it, I, I can't remember what it's called. Gravitational assist, I think that's what it's called. It's what the Voyager probes use when they um, traveled in between the gas giants, because if you didn't know, I believe Voyager 2, or both of the Voyagers, are only originally meant to go to um, Jupiter and Saturn, but then they, res or they use the gravity from Saturn to help it go to Uranus, I believe. So that's pretty interesting if you didn't know that. Okay, so speeding up a bit, so we've got more of these objects here, uh, about to crash into the sun there. Maybe some did hit the sun there, hmm, I don't know. Maybe. Now, it doesn't look like it did, actually. So, we've got Earth there. Just had a very close experience with the sun. It's cooling down again. Looking very dark here. And there was actually recently an update 10 days ago, but obviously I wasn't here to update it. How are humans still living here? But, yeah, there was an update just fixing bugs. So, if anyone's interested, yeah. But bug fix. Nothing Nothing was added, luckily. Because, yeah, if there's um, a new update out, I want to be, like, the first guy to bring it to you guys. That'd be pretty cool. So usually I am actually like I've I've actually looked around on YouTube when a new update comes out. I remember it was like when we had the update with Ganymede's new texture. We got the the one with Mercury texture. I believe I was the first guy to actually release a video on the update. So I guess I'm the most like I don't know the, I don't know what would you even call it like I actually don't know what I call that uh, most schedule uh, organized I, I don't know or most interested in universe sounds. I, mean, I, I, I don't know just yeah just forget about that. <laughs> I don't know what I was going, I don't, I don't know what I was saying there. Yeah, I'm still not the best at YouTube, but I uh, I have definitely got better. Whoa, look at this. Simulation can't run any faster with current settings. In Universe Samox 2, the time lapse is sometimes limited in order to maintain simulation accuracy. Accuracy is automatically calculated to balance simulation speed and stability. If you want to adjust it, you can turn off automatic tolerance. Hmm. Okay, so, so I didn't know that existed, but yeah, if you guys just saw that, a warning just popped up. Well, not a warning, but an info thing just said it. If it simulates it any faster, it may not be as realistic as it would be if it was slower. So, yeah, we can't really speed up more than this. I was, it will be unrealistic, I'm assuming. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so we've still got all of these dwarf planets just orbiting away, but all of the other objects look like they are just going around the sun in this very weird sort of way here. So Jupiter's trying to get a binary orbit of the sun, but the sun is still pretty much in the middle here. It's pretty interesting, but we've just got just a crazy show going on here. So all of the objects which are pretty much closer to the sun when Pluto have are orbiting the sun, but all the objects further away, it looks like, are just orbiting the sun. Or, or, or in a normal orbit, but all the ones that are closer than Pluto, or Pluto itself, have just gone into this weird, crazy orbit. It looks pretty weird. And whoa, whoa, I didn't even notice these guys. So we've got Vesta, Palace here, Charlinko as well. They've all just been completely thrown out. I didn't even notice. 1.81 kilometers a second. So yeah, that's that's pretty going very fast. That. So we've got, also got Ceres on a very, very weird orbit. This bit is all Ceres. Surely that won't work. That's going to get thrown out. There's no way that's why. Even Earth is not in a good state right now. 
pretty much at the coldest temperature it could possibly be at, even with an atmosphere there. So yeah, completely dark at Earth. All that's lit up or lighting up is the cities and the lights and stuff. So we've got North America there, we've got Hawaii, Australia is gone, it looks like. And we got um yeah, we got there's England, there's where I live. So it looks like Asia's disappeared, Africa, a bit of that's still there, but looks like half the world's lights have disappeared. That's that's pretty weird. Actually, let's slow this down quick. I don't know why they would have disappeared, but have they? Oh, wow, that's down too fast. Okay, so... So, yeah, this is the night side. Oh, no, no, all the lights are working, I think. Wait, is Australia... Okay, so, yeah, um... Australia seems a little too dark, or is it usually like that? I don't even know. Okay, no, it is fine. Forget about that. I thought, it looked, I thought some of the city lights looked off. Is that just me, or has something actually happened? I don't know. Right, anyways, back to the um, main part of the video. So... Looks like we're coming to the end now because nothing's really happening, to be honest. Like, we're getting a few objects thrown out. All the dwarf planets are orbiting around the sun. Their orbits probably will not change. So, we've also got. The, it's mainly around Jupiter and Saturn, which are probably the most interesting parts. We've got. Mercury is. Looks like it's in a binary orbit with Jupiter. I don't know how it manages that. But. I don't know, no. Jupiter's in a binary orbit with the sun, I think. And Mercury's orbiting Jupiter a weird way. I, I believe that's what's happening here. As we can see, we've got the dwarf planets just flying by there. Let's speed this up a little more. It keeps on slowing it down, actually. It's... Yeah, come on, let's go a little faster, please. There's Neptune, the best planet. <laughs> Love that blue, man. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's keep an eye out. Okay, so we've got Jupiter coming on the close call of the sun. So let's actually slow this down a lot. Okay, slow down. Okay, there's the sun. Okay, so we're traveling, we're traveling at years a second here. That's how far away. So if we just check here. So... Wow, these are really far away, actually. So it looks like it's about... 400 astronomical units away from the sun is this main area here and then all the way out at earth it's over a thousand then we've got these objects up here which are over 25,000 astronomical units away so they're completely out of the sun's grasp now pretty much so yeah that's not too good all right anyways jupiter let's see how you're doing okay so it's still pretty dark here actually it's not really the brightest but right, anyways, let's have a close call with the sun now, and let's see how close it actually does get to the sun. So, sun's still pretty much the size of a normal star at Jupiter's normal distance. It should be a little bigger than that, honestly. So, let's keep an eye out here. So, okay, this looks like it's the closest point to the sun. And honestly, the sun still isn't too big. It's about the size it is from Earth or Mars, actually. So, that's pretty um, interesting. So, let's um, speed this up again. Hmm, that's peculiar. Actually, let's keep an eye on the um, trails here. So, yeah, they're all, this, all of the objects are traveling through space. We've got these poor guys out here just traveling off in their own way. Okay, so let's go back on orbit mode. Yeah, so none of these objects are getting close enough to the sun for the sun actually to destroy them. Because even at the closest point here, so let's go to this part here. That's still... Actually, no, no, that is a little closer than Earth's orbit normally, actually. So... They don't get too close, but they do get reasonably close. So if Earth was at this point here, it probably could sustain life, I want to say. So let's actually go to Earth. Let's put it at its closest point, and let's see if it could warm up to a reasonable temperature here. So there's Earth. Now let's see how you do. So slow this down. Like, no, so that's uh, really annoying. We can't, like, do it any quicker. So if you, sometimes if you type in the values here, it messes it up. So that's why I don't do that. But anyways, let's put it to... Let's just go with 10 degrees and let's see if it cools down or heats up. So, okay, it's 5 degrees. We'll uh, turn off climate mode. Okay, it is cooling down. Okay, so no, no. Even at the closest point to the sun, Earth cannot sustain the normal temperature. It normally would. So, yeah, that's not too good. But if we just have a quick look here. Let's see how far away is that from the sun. Okay, so it's about almost triple the distance it normally is from the sun. So, yeah, that's why it's definitely too cold here. So, no object can sustain life on it in the solar system now or life as we know it i should say because maybe there's some life out there that's extremely adapted to the hot or cold so yeah we'll, we'll probably never know though i, I don't know yeah because there must be some sort of like life out there like there's there's a lot of signs going towards it about like stars that are dimming in dimming in light and appears people thinking there are mega structures blocking out starlight also stars that switch on and off or something it's weird but it could just be asteroids and planets flying across these stars but so to make a star dim a lot, I think it would require a lot more than a planet to make it dim. So that's pretty weird. 
So it's, it's a star called Tabby Star, I believe it's um, called. Tabby Star, and it's basically... I could do a video on it if you want, guys, but it's pretty, like, old news now, Tabby Star. It's basically a star a little older than the sun, but instead of getting brighter in luminosity, I believe its luminosity is decreasing, even though it's older than the sun, it should be getting hotter and or, or turn into the red giant phase. Ouch, I just sort of hit myself there. All right, anyways, yeah, so it's pretty interesting. But should I make a video on Tabby Star? Really pretty interesting. I'm not really the best with that sort of stuff. I mean, there was not really too much we could make a video on, to be honest. Like, there's not really too much we know about it. We can't send a probe or the or the, um, or a probe or anything to look at it. We literally can only look at it through a telescope right now, through, like, Hubble or something like that. But anyways, I think this should do it for the video, guys, because as you can see here, nothing is really happening. We've got Mars who's been ejected there, but... Yeah, to conclude, all of the dwarf planets out here, their orbits will pretty much stay fine forever now, but all of the objects in here, they could eventually get chucked out, like Mars and all these objects out here, or they could just stay in a very weird orbit like this forever, so... Yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, help us on the journey to 900 subscribers, because that would be awesome, and... Yeah, make sure you have a good day, and if you've got any ideas for another video, feel free to leave a comment down below, I'm always... Always, um, looking for any new ideas, if you've got them, and if they're, um good or long enough to make a video on them, I'll probably make a video on it. So, yeah, pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.